I'm here on the backs of QGIF and on the back of my lecture in Wairiki. I'm here, I suppose, because of this lady and this man. Uh, because I believe in the leadership that they took. I mightn't have understood all the detail, but I'm damn sure about one thing. That if it's, if it's uh, taking away a person's right, and if it's taking away a right that I should have, in particular as Māori, and as an educator about things in the Treaty of Waitangi, then there was a place to go to, and that was right behind Tari and Atulia, and Peter Sharples. So, when we started, it was on the back of protest. Now, when we started, we started on the back of protest. And I think now we've moved it past protest, we actually want to start contributing. We don't want to be in protest mood all the time. That's where I'm at. I don't intend to stay in there for a very long time. Um, yeah. Not even now. I don't intend, I'll say it openly, I don't intend to stay there for a long time. Unless I can make a contribution to the betterment of our people. Why would you? Why would you? Why would you take three, weeks, three years away of your life and those sorts of blocks if all you're ever going to do is knock your head against the wall? I've been doing it for about two and a half years and I'm hoping if our people have the same belief that I have in our Papa, that there'll be one, there'll be two, there'll be three others sitting right beside us. Uh, and <laughs> on the back of that, if Tari and uh, view is right and we have ten, then we're really going to start being able to make a positive contribution to the betterment of all of us in the best interest of Aotearoa Whānuitong. So, sure, we started with protest. I think we've moved on over the speeches, over all the money that we've been doing, one form or another, to highlight issues. Internationally, a lot more than Locally, regionally, across the board. And therefore, I think that we have made that contribution. And it hasn't gone, it hasn't been because We've been sitting on our backsides, it's been because we've been doing the hard work and more importantly that we've got huge teams of people behind us. So for that, whether they be the Arab parliamentary staff or the work ones that work with us, then uh, they have all contribute to our co -fos. I want to say, um, if Tony gets off my paper, can I have my paper back please? Thank you very much. Um, we have worked hard, we have worked hard, but the key will be about getting all of these other members into parliament and securing every one of us back in that house. Our people have to put us, not just walk in there again, there has to be a clear line that our people believe in the Māori Party. It's not just about going through the motions. In fact, to the most of the, most of the groups we've ever talked to, at least half, if not more than half of, it, of the people in all those audiences, they come there because they come for the label. They don't know too much about politics, in fact some of them they can't be bothered. Probably like many of you tonight. You might not understand too much about politics, but you understand the brand. And that's one of the keys to our successes, I think, as Tony says, we're there to represent you. But the key will be putting us over that line without any dispute whatsoever that those seven seats, Kotamata Fenwits, Kotamata Fenwits Yamai, Hiroto Yatata, we, you, us, all of us, and Moni will tell you all shortly that he's going to say to you this. He's going to say to you, bring up your relations in equal to what He's going to say, oh, did I say the line, Moni? Moni oh. Howard is going to say to you, Ring up your relations all around the Hagaki Tainui Sea. Ring up your relations in the Taitoma. Ring up your relations in Ikaro Lafati and tell them, get off their backsides, get off their backsides, get to the polling booth. Actually, before that, grab all those Ramatai, those Mokapuna, those Tamariki who aren't registered yet. Get them registered, get them to the poll, drag them culturally appropriately to the poll. <laughs> And then give them some encouragement, subtle encouragement, <laughs> to vote in the right place, starting with M and finishing with B. Make sure that they do that. Or else, all it is is that everybody will look at us and say, well, those Māoris really don't want to have a Māori party. What they want to do is get on board with all the other mainstream parties. 
Well, in fact, I know in our heart of hearts, that isn't true. In the heart of hearts, our people believe that there is a place for us. But it's only going to happen if we all really believe it's going to happen. And do the hard way. So don't think it's all just going to fall in place. Lastly, I just want to say this. At the last election, you know, I, was, I for one was really disappointed about the fact that we never got seven. I just really believe, naively or otherwise, and I'm an educator, in fact, I bring the intellectual grunt to this thing. <laughs> I bring the intellectual grunt to this thing. I really believed at that last election, you know, that our people believed that there was so much of an injustice done at that seabed and foreshore. Uh, Kaupapa, that our people would give up, bring us home seven seats. I really believe that in my heart. It didn't happen. Okay, we got four, and after three years' work, I'm still convinced that that should happen. But not long after the election, we got four of us in. Not long after was the Māori option. And I thought, wow, just over, just over half of our people, about 54 percent of our people are on the Māori roll, 46, 40, such and such percent on the general roll. I thought that when it was publicised and that four month opportunity that all of our people would come home. Why? Because if all of our people came home to the Māori roll, there'd be a, the possibilities of up to about 12 to 13 seats. But for every two Māori that came to the back home to the Māori roll, one went back. And I have to say I lost a bit of faith in our people if they didn't believe in the way that we were doing, but that's alright. I bring in sort of an element of emotion to our team as well. So I thought, okay, I'll let it go. I'll let it go. But, but, not anymore. Not anymore. I had it. Finish that. Because I know that in the end that, that argument is now gone. All those ones on the general roll, can't do too much about it. Don't mind about it. Leave it there. But they better give us their party vote. Better give us their party vote. So I'll let it go then. But this election, this election, Man, I hope that for Pukumai, for all of us doing the work and getting in behind our teams and doing the hard work, because that's what brought us home last time, it's just sheer commitment like those ones over here, walking the streets. You know, that's what's going to do it for us. So I'm just asking that all of us get in, get stuck in behind the teams that have been set up, and hopefully you guys will be like Wairiki. When Wairiki goes door knocking, we go winter, rain, whatever, it doesn't matter. We're so staunch. People in Wairiki Dale, please put this over the radio station. People in Wairiki Dale, when they go out door knocking, they go in the snow, they go in the rain, they go in wind, long dust and dirt. They go, in fact, when it's snowing, when it's snowing in Wairiki Dale, next, next, next. when it's snowing in Wairiki, Wairiki people, they take their shirts off. No, 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 no. We're so staunch. Nenaki. Got to think of them. No, in Wairiki, if you've got a wooden pot and snow, our people, they take their shirts off in Wairiki. That's us. Yeah. Yeah. And in wooden pot, and in wooden pot, you know, wooden pot has got a few dogs in wooden pot. When we go to properties, door knocking, we go, you know, got people, 87 year old queer, they go walking on the streets, they go through the gate, the dog comes out. <laughs> The dog comes out. You know what they do in Wairiki in my area? Just to see if you fellas are up to it. Out where they don't walk away from those dogs, they put their foot out and say, Give it your best. Give it your best. That's how storms they are in Wairiki as we go around the electric. So, everyone, it's nice to be here tonight. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Good to see you all.